like 95% of people are new to the channel, so make sure you subscribe so I know that I'm wanted here, maybe? I don't know, just a thought. Either way, hit the subscribe button. Until next, I can't talk. Hey, what's up nerds, Mike here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to spot traffic using vRealize Network Insight from other countries. And all I'm gonna do is show you a couple of queries that you can execute in Network Insight that will let you see this data. It's always eye-opening and I find it useful, especially in today's, we'll say, political climate, whatever you wanna call it, it could be interesting to see this type of data. So regardless of why you wanna see it, let's just jump in and I'll show you how to do it. All right, so here we are inside of Network Insight. Now, keep in mind within Network Insight, you have this search bar on the left or this menu, I should say, with all of these options. I don't use that a whole lot. I like using this little query bar. I don't even know if that's the proper name, but that's what I'm gonna call it. And in this case, as far as how to see the data from other countries, right? If I just type flows and hit enter, you can see all of the flows in this environment. We can see 115,000 over the past 24 hours by default. And we can change that time frame right here. So we can specify uh, maybe the last week, we can say between a certain window, whatever the case is. I just wanna point that out. That might be a review for some of you, but just be aware of that. Now, this is all flows. So in order to see traffic from a specific country, we need to build out a query that extends this basic one. Cause this is all flows and we wanna kind of tailor it down to specific countries. So. To do that, what we can do, or one way we could do that, is we could say, uh, let's do flows, and I'm gonna do a space. We'll say where, we'll say source country. And I'm just gonna type that out. By the way, if I just do source and scroll down, you can see some of the other options you have here as well. So you have a lot of options. I'm gonna do source country. And then I can either do an equal sign and specify a specific country. So I can do, uh, we'll say Russia and hit enter. Now I'm looking at all flows coming from Russia into my environment. That is pretty much it, right? That's a pretty straightforward approach. But what if we wanted to do multiple countries? Well, in that case, what we could do is we can actually remove that equals. And instead we can say flows where source country in, that is where we're going to do a list. And you can do, by the way, the opposite is not in, but either way, the syntax is the same. So we can say in, and then we can do a parentheses and now we can make a list. So I could say uh, China, comma, Russia, comma, um, Canada, um, Mexico or something like that. And then close that bracket off. So now what I'm doing is all flows from one of these countries essentially. So I'll hit enter there. We can verify that, by the way, if you look right here in the left, the filter, we see China, Russia, Canada, Mexico, and we see the vast majority of our flows are coming from China in this example. All right, so that's one way we can do it. Now we can actually build on this. So let's do this. I'm gonna say where flows, I'm gonna go back to that first example where source country equals Russia. And then we can say, you know what, let's order, or let's, you know what, let's group this by destination port. So what this is going to do is show me only flows coming from Russia and what ports are they accessing within my environment. So let's hit enter on that. All right, so we see here a listing of all of the ports coming from flows that originated in Russia. And we see the actual flows here next to the port number. So if I wanted to see all of the flows coming from either Telnet or SSH, I can click on the associated flow there. And actually I will on this one right here. I'll click on that. What this is going to do is just kind of break it down further. So remember before we had 115,000 flows, now we have 85 flows and they're all coming from Russia, which is pretty cool. Or I guess it's not cool, but it's, you know, you, you see what I'm saying. I, I, I'm not good at these things. All right, <laughs> so let's go back. Let's kind of remove this and let's, let's look at one more example of what we can do here that is pretty cool as it relates to other countries. Um, what we could do is let's say, Let's look at traffic to a specific application. So we can say flows, let's click on that, all right? Flows to, I'm gonna do application. We'll do that one actually, AWS Fitbike. And let's say flows to that and let's group that by um, source country. 
So this is just going to show me what countries are accessing this application. And by the way, I, I did flows to application here. I could have easily done flows to VM, flows to tier, or you know, flows to AWS VPC, for example. So there's a lot of things I could have done with this, but this is just a very, very brief example. Now there's one more query that I wanna show you, which is pretty cool, because all of what we've been doing has been focusing on inbound traffic. But one thing you might be interested in from a security standpoint is what traffic is leaving my environment and where is it going to? So there's one query that I came up with, which is pretty cool for this. So we could say, let's look at all flows where flow type, by the way, flow type is one of the most helpful operators here. So you're gonna do flow type equals, and then you have all these choices. You can say destination is AWS, Azure, um, going to the internet, coming from the internet, VM to VM traffic, VM to bare metal. There's a whole, you know, there's a bunch of these, right? You can see some of those here. In my case, I'm gonna say flow type is destination is internet. And I'm going to say um, destination, well, actually here, let's, let's go back. For some reason that didn't, Oh, okay, I, I forgot to put the parentheses or, or the quotes there. All right, so then we can say destination is internet and I'm going to say destination country. Uh, we'll say, we'll say uh, equals China. Let's go with China. And then from there, okay, so this query right now is going to say, show me all flows going to China, essentially. So flows destined for the internet and they're going to China. Now, we could take this a step further though, and we could say, let's go ahead, once we get those results, well actually I'll hit enter here and then we'll do that. So this is all flows going to China from my environment. Now let's build that out further, because right now this is just kind of a, just a list, right? We have 770 flows. We don't really know what's what, where's it going or anything like that. We can say, let's add to that. We could say, let's go ahead and order those results by, um, let's do, you know what, let's do traffic rate and I'll hit enter. So now what this is doing is essentially showing me from a, you know an ordered list of all the traffic leaving my environment to China only, what is generating the most bandwidth from a traffic rate standpoint. I think this is interesting because if someone gets into your environment and starts exfiltrating data, you would wanna know where is it going to and you would see a spike in traffic. Now obviously there's not a lot of traffic here so there's probably nothing malicious here but I just wanted to illustrate the point. So. That said, I hope you found this useful. Either way, until next time, stay safe and healthy, and most importantly, stay nerdy.